Welcome to I Find the Five channel. When you think baddest motorcycle clubs, it's only the outlaw motorcycle clubs that come to mind, the ones that don't follow the rules and regulations of the American Motorcycle Association. These motorcycle clubs not only live by their own rules and regulations, but they also follow their dyke dats pretty strictly, and any rule breaking can lead to even long time members getting evicted. The rules mostly are never fair, but that doesn't stop the motorcycle club's enforcers from making sure that they are followed to the T. For an outlaw motorcycle club, the club is usually priority number one, and members are expected to adhere to rules, even if they go against the law. Then again, they do promise a lifetime of brotherhood, and a place to be, no matter who you are and what you may have done. Look at the 10 most baddest motorcycle clubs and their most important rules before you try to become part of one. Ten. The Pagans. You can't marry a pet. The Pagans Motorcycle Club was formed in the 50s, but by the time it exited the single quote 60s, it had become a largely shady organization that dealt in things that skimmed the law, and sometimes, broke the law outright. Today, they are one of the largest outlaw motorcycle clubs in the US and considered a threat by law enforcement. Their one unbreakable rule, pets, as in women who are with many of the motorcycle club members, cannot be married to any of the members. These women are not considered high enough in stature to be wives. 9. Vargo's Motorcycle Club. What's not of the club is immaterial. The Vargo's Motorcycle Club isn't an outlaw club afraid of the law, or afraid of breaking it. According to law enforcement agencies, the Vargos earn money by smuggling illicit substances across both sides of the Mexican-US border. A few of the members were accused of trying to set traps for police officers in California. This made the Vargos Motorcycle Club file a defamation suit and even win it. The club remains a priority for all members, but what the members do away from the club business remains their business, period. 8. Bandidos Motorcycle Club. Pledged to the Bandido Nation. The Bandidos Motorcycle Club calls itself, along with all of its chapters and members, national or international, the Bandido Nation. So all the members, who have pledged to a chapter, first have to sign their motorcycle over to the club. The wheels now belong to the club. Also, if a member of any chapter is around any Bandido event, even of another chapter, he has to be a part of it. This holds especially true if it's a funeral of one of the motorcycle club's members. 7. Hells Angels. When in need, go the legal way. Call it an unspoken rule, but one of the most popular outlaw motorcycle clubs, the Hells Angels often take the help of the law when in need, even if they skirt the periphery of it. And while some of the members may indulge in stuff that is less than savory and is probably breaking the law as well, a lot of what the club does for the business is above the law. So when the Hells Angels name or patch is used without permission, as they did in the movie Wild Hogs, Hells Angels goes to court and files a lawsuit and then wins them all as well. 6. Outlaws Motorcycle Club. Peace is not a concept they preach or adopt. And like many one percenters that give other motorcycle clubs and their territories a wide berth, the outlaws works in the opposite direction. They are always on an expansion drive, so much so that they actively pick up fights with smaller motorcycle clubs and decimate them with threats and takeovers. The smaller motorcycle club members have the option of joining the outlaws or simply slinking away to nothingness. Along with this, they also defend their territories in virulent and violent ways, and this is their most important rule. Territories have to be won and protected. 5. The Grim Reapers. 
Joining requirements are a Harley Davidson and being white. The Grim Reapers Motorcycle Club is another outlaw motorcycle club with very strict rules in place, especially when it comes to joining the club. When a rookie wants to join the motorcycle club, there are two major requirements he needs. One is that his motorcycle needs to be a Harley Davidson, and the second is that he needs to be white. The members have to be all male, and all these requirements for new members were made public in 1981 when the rules were published in a small newspaper in Evansville. 4. The Mongols. Never back down in a fight. The Mongols Motorcycle Club, it is said, was formed because the Hispanic hopefuls who wanted into the Hells Angels were denied membership because they weren't lily white. And not only did they form a motorcycle club separate from Hells Angels, but they also took Southern California away from Hells Angels, and established themselves in this territory, firmly. And their motto or rule is simple, never back down in a fight. And such is their fighting prowess that even the Hells Angels have given up their rights to the territory. 3. Iron Horseman Motorcycle Club. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Iron Horseman Motorcycle Club may not be as big an outlaw club as the rest, but their claim to fame is just about as violent, if not more when it comes to crossing the legalities. Much like the other outlaw motorcycle clubs, their members have been involved in all kinds of illicit and banned substance smuggling, as well as other more serious offences. And yet, their motto is as poetic as ever and enforces the rule of frequent riding, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. If it weren't for the Iron Horseman, the highways would rust. 2. Black Pistons Motorcycle Club. Follow the Constitution. The Black Pistons Motorcycle Club is as outlaw as they come, but instead of being an independent motorcycle club, they are a support club to the Outlaws Motorcycle Club. Meaning if and when the law enforcement bears down too hard on the Outlaws, the Black Pistons comes in handy, and they also are useful in finding new members for the Outlaws. Their basic rule is simple, follow the constitution of the club, in that all members have to be 21 years and above, own a US made motorcycle, and be friends with an active member for at least a year. 1. Cossacks Motorcycle Club. Sewing on a supremacy patch is punishable. The Cossacks Motorcycle Club is loyal to the Harley Davidson brand and only Harley Davidson riders of a certain displacement size and above are included in. While they consider themselves to be patriots because of this, they take great pains to make sure everyone knows that they are not white supremacists. Any Cossack member is prohibited to wear any insignia or patch that proclaims the whites to be a more superior race and pride themselves in taking care of their own, even if that means skimming the law.